Welcome back to my channel. My name is Rachel, that is the R in the RK Stumbling Bear, and I am a reader and a writer. So about a year and a quarter ago, I came out with a list of 40 before 40. Now I have turned 40. And out of that list, I read one and I DNF'd one. And I was looking at the list kind of going, why did I not try harder to read some of these books? And then notice that the one book that I did successfully read was a science fiction. It was Hitchhiker's Guide to a Galaxy. And I went, okay, I see that. I could see where my interest really is because a lot of these books are deemed classics or just really popular literary fiction. And while I do read that, I, I'm not going to read 40 books in a year. That was my bet. So I'm trying this list again, but because I'm already 40, we're going to do 50 before 50. That gives me a little bit more time. And also this book is sci-fi and fantasy. I still went with the books that had the most ratings on Goodreads. So these are books that a lot of people have read. And there are some repeat authors, but the books are from different series. What I have found in my life is sometimes I will like one series by an author, but not another. So I don't necessarily DNF authors. I just will DNF a series if I don't like it. So I figured that was a good balance. So jumping right in, because you all want to know what the books are. That's why you're here watching BookTube. I'm not going to do a description for them. I'm just going to tell you their, the title and the author. So we have 1984 by George Orwell, Animal Farm by George Orwell, Fair Night 451 by Ray Bradbury, The Lovely Bones by Alice Siebold, The Handmaid's Tale by Margaret Atwood, A Court of Thorns and Roses by Sarah J. Maas, The Time Traveler's Wife by Audrey Niffenegger, The Midnight Library by Matt Haig, The Life of Pi by Jan Martell, Frankenstein by Mary Shelley, The Picture of Dorian Gray by Oscar Wilde, Insurgent by Veronica Roth, The Shining by Stephen King, The Song of Achilles by Madeline Miller, Throne of Glass by Sarah J. Maas, Slaughterhouse-Five by Kurt Vonnegut Jr., Dune by Frank Herbert, Dracula by Bram Stoker, Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children by Ransom Riggs, The Cruel Prince by Holly Black, The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue by V. E. Schwab, The Metamorphosis by Franz Kafka, Outlander by Diana Gabaldon, The Host by Stephanie Meyer, The Night Circus by Aaron Morgenstern, 100 Years of Solitude by Gabriel Garcia Marquez, Shadow and Bone by Lee Bardugo, Six of Crows by Lee Bardugo, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory by Roland Dahl, the Pillars of the Earth by Ken Follett. The Stand by Stephen King. Good Omens by Terry Pratchett and Neil Gaiman. Carrie by Stephen King. A Clockwork Orange by Anthony Burgess. The Inheritance Games by Jennifer Lynn Barnes. Never Let Me Go by Kazuo Ishiguro. Coraline by Neil Gaiman. House of Earth and Blood by Sarah J. Mess. Flowers for Algernon by Daniel Keyes. Uglies by Scott Westerfeld. Vampire Academy by Rochelle Mead, The Gunslinger by Stephen King, Beautiful Creatures by Cameron Garcia, Wicked by Gregory Maguire, Interview with the Empire by Anne Rice, The Scorch Trials by James Dashner, Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde by Robert Louis Stevenson, From Blood and Ash by Jennifer L. Armentrout, The Wise Man's Fear by Patrick Rothfuss, Dead Until Dark by Charlene Harris. As you can see, I have four of these books already. I'm my shelf, so they're probably the good ones to start with. This list I think is going to be much more manageable because, you know, I have 10 years to do this, so I could read like five books a year. Sounds great to me. If you read any of these or think I should prioritize any of them, please let me know down below. Thank you and have a great day.